pizzas, pies, and even popsicles. There are a lot of surprising things you can make by combining humble canned ingredients. You can combine canned chicken and canned potatoes for a meal that is unexpectedly good. Loaded chicken and potatoes. It has the same fun feel as loaded tots or loaded nachos and is just as easy to make. Starting with pre-cooked canned potatoes saves time with both chopping and cooking. You can also make them in the air fryer instead of the oven for convenience. You'll start with a layer of canned potatoes. If they're whole potatoes, you may want to cut them in fourths or slice them. Then you'll add the canned chicken on top. We like the idea of seasoning the potatoes and chicken before you load them up with your favorite toppings. You could go with a generic or Mexican seasoning mix depending on the flavor profile you want. You could add cheddar cheese and cooked bacon before baking and then top with fresh ingredients like sour cream and green onions after the potatoes have warmed through and the cheese has melted. Pumpkin hummus can be as simple or fancy as you'd like. The three main ingredients all come in a can or jar – unsweetened pumpkin, chickpeas, and tahini. And you'd be surprised how good chickpeas taste with pumpkin. Using orange juice instead of lemon juice with your olive oil can be especially tasty. And if you don't have tahini, you can grind sesame seeds to make your own. You can even make it with pre-made grocery store hummus and canned pumpkin to cut out all the work. You can add as many seasonings or herbs to pumpkin hummus as you want, like cumin and minced garlic, or even just pumpkin spice. Do you want anything pumpkin spice, please? Take it a step further if you want by adding ingredients like pumpkin seeds, pomegranate seeds, or a drizzle of maple syrup. The pumpkin flavor also makes for a welcome dip for fruit like apples and pears, in addition to your usual pitas and veggies. Because Texas caviar is so easy to make, it's a natural go-to option for potlucks and lazy summer meals. Texas caviar includes canned ingredients like black-eyed peas, black or pinto beans, and whole kernel corn. While you can use fresh bell peppers and fresh red onions, it's also possible to use canned versions instead. Canned red onion slices work especially well since they're already marinated in vinegar. Canned green chilies, jalapenos, and garlic are also good options to take the flavor up a notch. Once you've gathered your canned ingredients, you simply need to open them drain them, and mix them together in a bowl. We suggest adding a few fresh ingredients like fresh cilantro, lime juice, and sliced green onions, along with a dressing of vinegar and olive oil. Chicken pot pie is one of those dishes that you can make completely from scratch or by can. With the long way, it could take hours to make your own crust and sauce and then boil a chicken. Meanwhile, the short way takes less than 30 minutes, including baking. If you want to make a chicken pot pie entirely by can, you'll only need canned biscuits and a mixture of canned chicken, mixed veggies, and cream of chicken soup. Either put the mixture in a casserole dish with the raw biscuits on top, or stretch each piece of biscuit dough to make a small bowl in a muffin tin and fill it with the mixture. Then bake it for 15 to 20 minutes or until the dough is done and browned. Of course, you could elevate this recipe by seasoning the filling with garlic and using frozen puff pastry instead of canned biscuits for the crust. You can also use nearly any cream of soup instead of cream of chicken, such as cream of celery or cream of mushroom. If you have canned Spam and canned veggies in your cupboard along with an egg and leftover rice in your fridge, Spam fried rice can be ready to eat in minutes. Spam egg, Spam, Spam, bacon and Spam! Spam, 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 egg and Spam! The saltiness of the Spam brings the perfect flavor punch to fried rice, while the canned veggies add nutrition and color to the meal. To make Hawaiian-inspired Spam fried rice, you could even add a can of drained pineapple tidbits or crushed pineapple. The best part is that it only takes minutes to make. Start out cooking the Spam cubes with ingredients like green onions, ginger, and garlic. Then you can add in the leftover rice and drained veggies along with drained pineapple. The final touch is adding soy sauce and scrambled eggs and cooking until warmed through. There are tons of flavored baked beans available these days, so when you notice that plain can of baked beans sitting on your shelf, it can be less than exciting. However, we have an idea for jazzing up baked beans that we think will make your mouth happy. Pineapple baked beans. Pineapple brings an instant sweetness to your baked beans and textural interest if you choose tidbits over crushed. While you could simply mix pineapple into your pork and beans, heat and call it done, you can get even more richness from the dish with a few extra ingredients. You could add depth to the sweetness with molasses or brown sugar. Ketchup, spicy mustard, and Worcestershire sauce can also add a punch of flavor. It can also be good to add liquid smoke or smoked paprika, caramelized onions, or meats like bacon or smoked sausages. With pineapple being an ingredient, you could even try Spam as your meat. Baking helps bring out the caramel flavors of the pineapple. If you have looked into meat alternatives, you're likely familiar with jackfruit barbecue. 
Since jackfruit has a mild umami quality, it takes on the flavor of the sauce you add without competing with it, and the texture is a good mimic for pulled pork. Unless you want to get fancy, all you need is a can of Sloppy Joe sauce like Manwich, a can of jackfruit, and buns. Simply prepare the Sloppy Joes as the can suggests, substituting shredded jackfruit for meat. Then serve it on a toasted bun. To kick it up a notch, add some fresh coleslaw on top of the jackfruit before adding the top bun. If you want to keep everything simple, you can always buy coleslaw pre-made from the store rather than making it yourself. Pumpkin and coconut soup is extremely easy to whip up and is a comforting combination. While you can eat pumpkin and coconut soup alone, it's extremely versatile, making a great base for vegetables, especially root vegetables. This soup contains canned pumpkin, canned chicken or vegetable broth, and canned coconut milk. You can even add a tablespoon of tomato paste for a richer soup or mild beans if you want extra protein. The other ingredients you should add will depend on the flavor profile you want. While you could just add seasonings as simple as cumin and paprika, you may want to try a combination of curry powder, turmeric, and smoked paprika. Toppings can include anything from sour cream to pumpkin seeds or cilantro. After you make this soup once, let your imagination guide you on what to add the next time you cook it. Wild rice casserole is a comfort dish you'll likely find yourself making again and again. Even picky eaters tend to like the results. While you can turn it into a casserole, you can also make it on a camp stove while camping. The canned ingredients you may use for it include canned chicken, cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup, and canned mixed veggies. You simply make a box of flavored wild rice according to the package, add the canned ingredients, and add any seasoning you might like before popping it in the oven with a generous sprinkling of cheese on top. Of course, you can make chicken and rice casserole the long way or with different vegetables like broccoli, but it's so much easier and faster by can. There are plenty of canned ingredients you can use to jazz up a frozen pizza. Such ingredients can also be used to top a pizza you're making at home from scratch or with a pre-made crust. Using canned toppings for a pizza cuts down on prep time, allowing you to get the pizza out of the oven and into your mouth that much faster. Not so fast, fellow pizza lovers! You can find several meat toppings that come packaged rather than refrigerated that work just fine for pizza, like cooked bacon, pepperoni, spam, and anchovies. Of course, canned chicken will probably taste better mixed with barbecue sauce. There's also a plethora of other pizza toppings that come in a can, like capers, artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, pickles, peppers of all kinds, garlic, pineapple, olives, onions, and mushrooms. You can even get your pizza sauce and Parmesan cheese from a jar or can. So there's no need to dirty a pan cooking up meat, and you don't have to get out a chopping board when making a pizza at home or enhancing your frozen pizza. One of the most interesting dishes to make that includes canned ingredients is the Haitian version of macaroni and cheese, called macaroni au gratin. It's an easy and creamy baked version of mac and cheese that includes elevated ingredients like sautéed onions and peppers. Not only is it extremely flavorful, but you don't even have to labor over a Mornay sauce. Instead, evaporated milk can be used to thicken the cheese as it bakes in the oven. And don't forget about the shortcut of using canned peppers and garlic to cut down on the chopping and cooking involved in this dish. Making Haitian macaroni au gratin is as easy as mixing together cooked rigatoni pasta with sautéed onions, canned peppers, evaporated milk, and your favorite cheeses. Then simply pop the dish into the oven until the sauce is done. There's a bit of a debate over whether you should add mayo, and some people also include meat, so canned chicken could work here as well. There's more that you can do with that fruit cocktail in the pantry besides eating it with a spoon or throwing it into jello. The idea of turning canned fruit into fruit cocktail popsicles is so simple that you'll wonder why you haven't thought of it sooner. And while cherries are a highlight, there are rarely enough in the can, which is why we suggest using a jar of maraschino cherries in your canned fruit popsicle. It's a good idea to layer the ingredients instead of mixing everything together. That way, you can get layers of nothing but cherries next to layers of fruit cocktail, but that's just one way to do it. Once your layers are in your popsicle mold like you want, you'll add in some of the remaining juice from the fruit cocktail, cherry jar, or both to fill the mold. Some people add a mix of cream, evaporated milk, and condensed milk instead of fruit juice for a creamy treat. It will take four or five hours to freeze, but the wait will be worth it. One million dollars. As the name suggests, millionaire pie tastes like a million dollars, but the secret is that it's super easy to make and a lot of the ingredients come from a can. 
And what doesn't come from a can, you can get pre-made or in a box or bag. The canned ingredients include sweetened condensed milk, crushed pineapple, and maraschino cherries. All the ingredients come together perfectly with almost no work involved. And using sweetened condensed milk allows you to bypass adding extra sugar. All you have to do is mix together sweetened condensed milk, lemon juice, coconut flakes, chopped pecans, crushed pineapple, and thawed whipped topping, and put it in a pre-made graham cracker crust. Don't forget to add the cherries on top. The hardest part about making this pie is waiting two hours while it sets up in the fridge before you can dig in. It has a refreshing and tropical flavor that most people will love.